review show. I'm Dutch. Jules. Dylan. Ben. Folks, today we are reviewing Blanton's single barrel bourbon whiskey. Yeah, yeah. I think everybody knows what this is by now, right? I mean, there's not a single person out there that's a bourbon drinker that hasn't heard of Blanton's. And there's not a lot of people out there that are even trying to find a bourbon to drink that haven't heard of it. I mean, like, if, you, if you're like, hey, I want to drink a bourbon, and you just Google, what's a good bourbon to buy? Like, a, you know, medium to high end bourbon. I feel like this is what's coming up. Or they saw it in a movie or something, right? right? TV Blanton's show, yeah. Very so, popular right now. So we'll get a little more into that and a little more into the history of it. Um, we happen to have a bottle here in the presentation box. So it makes cool. a great gift, guys. Holidays, this is going to be on the Christmas yeah, show. Yeah, if you can find it. If you can find it, if you can find it. Yeah, we'll get into that. Shop too. early. So cool looking box, you know. Yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and crack this open here. Uh, the nice thing is when you open it up, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, you can actually see the little racehorse bottle topper pop up there. Um, so you can, you can figure out which one you have because they're all different. Or they're not all different. There's... Eight different, eight different bottle tops. Eight different bottle tops. So uh, inside the box, it's a nice little satchel that has uh, Blanton's on it. You can you can use it to carry your gold around. Yeah, the box and the satchel is a bag. It's a bag. Um, Did we charge you ten cents for that? <laughs> a little bit of literature here. Um, it gives it away. <laughs> <laughs> so again, here's your bag. Very cool. I Doesn't mean, definitely it? unique, right? Unique. Yeah, yeah. You have a nice attention to detail. Lots. And the bottle, I mean, like, this is like, I mean, this is a Fabergé egg. I mean, it's, it's a unique, <laughs> wow. it's a unique yeah. design. It's, uh, hey, this is America, okay? What, so it's, yeah, whatever. It's a hand grenade. That's what I'm saying. There you go. There you go. That's better. It's a hand grenade of delicious. It's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a like weapon that. of war. I like it. Um, anyway, so as I mentioned, the toppers on these, these little pewter, uh, you know, horse and, uh, horse and rider figurines. If you notice down in the corner, we'll get a little close up on this. I think yeah. it has an N. And there's actually a different one for each letter of Blanton's. So there's, was that, eight? Um, and here's, here's another one. You know, we can do a zoom up. This is the B. Yeah, different. So kind of cool. cool. Blanton's cool. actually sells on their website a little display thing, and you can put them all in there. Oh, nice. Um, you can line them up. I mean, when you their, them their marketing department is genius. Right on it. Genius. Right on it. And we'll go into that. Okay, so the info on this bottle, for those of you keeping score at home, this was dumped on December 14, 2016. So uh, that's six, seven months from ago to when we filmed this. Uh, this is from barrel number 167, stored in Warehouse H, as is, I believe, all Blanton's. And this was on Rick number 18. Uh, this is officially bottle number 155. I didn't note that in my notes. And uh, it is uh, bottled by hand at 93 proof. That's 46.5% alcohol. Um, you know, bottle-wise, I mean, we talked about the presentation in the box in the bag, and if you don't get it in the box in the bag, you know, you can still find it in stores just like this. I mean, it's, I think it's a great looking bottle. It's cool. Very it's cool. cool. You don't need a lot of things that look like this. 100% you need. You always know it's black. You, you always know it's in the bottle. Yeah. Exactly. You, you, you know. And I think that's, you know, segueing a little bit into why this has gotten harder and harder to find, is this has made appearances in TV shows and movies. Right. It was in Justified. It was what else? It was in a movie, right? John Wick, I think. John Wick or something. I mean, so people see it. It's in the magazine articles all the time. So, in this episode, is it worth the hype? I mean, is it, does it live up to the hype? Right. Yeah. We're going to determine. Hollywood so, hype? I'm going to crack this open. Dylan, give us a little more background on it. This is a Buffalo Trace product, right? Yeah. So, so this is really an interesting, uh, has an interesting history. So, um, it's thought of as one of the best by many, many, many people. Um, it's 93 proof. Uh, we don't have an age, but you know the the most people say it's about six to eight years. Um, it's mash bill number two, and as you know, Buffalo Trace kind of keeps their mash bill um, secret, but they do think that it's uh, the higher rye bill. So it's uh, and uh, it's made from uh, perhaps like fifteen percent rye or something like that. But uh, it's named after Colonel Albert Blanton, who worked at the Buffalo Trace Distillery in the eighteen nineties, and. Um, so, you know, the, the, there, there's a lot of history here. So the reason why they created this was that Blanton, when he worked there, um, he created a private reserve for himself. And so, um, you know, he, there was a special area of the, of, the, of the factory that he used to keep special barrels for himself so that he could um, 
bottle and then give it to uh, um, his friends and family as gifts. And what the company actually did was say, well, that's a great idea. And they created this line. Mm -hmm. um, the other interesting thing about this is that, um, I mean, we talked about how marketing is amazing. And we heard this story um, actually straight from someone who worked at Blanton who said that, you know, prior to, I believe, 1987, there was no, there wasn't, there was this, this, this concept of single barrel didn't exist. Mm -hmm. And I think the marketing department in this company basically said, hey, you know, there, there's a lot of, a lot of people buying up single malt scotch. Why don't we get something like that for bourbon? And this idea of single barrel was born and then they started bottling it as single barrel. Wow. So it was, it was more marketing that kind of drove this type of liquor than anything else, which is, which is fascinating. So I have a question about that and single barrel because is single barrel one of the, like to put, uh, to give some background, Dodge, Hemi, uh, you know, everybody kind of knows what that is. That comes from hemispherical uh, combustion chambers in the engine, but Porsche's done it. I think some other manufacturers have done it. So it's, is single barrel kind of one of those things where other distillers produce something from a single barrel and other distillers like, like, is this something they just chose to kind of like invent and build up as a marketing? Well, I think, I think like, it starts in the marketing department, but is there the reason they didn't want to do it initially was there's no consistency in single barrels. Like, right. Interesting. You, can, you can taste okay. them on, you can kind of get them in the same flavor profiles. And I think Blanton's does that very well. Right. But they're always afraid to sell it because back in the day, mm -hmm. the whole thing was like, it has to taste consistent from year to year. Right. That's why blends were the thing. Right, right. because right. That, that was that was perceived right. as the higher skill. Like the master distiller should be able to consistently create the product, right? Right. So, you know, this was not necessarily a better skill, but from a marketing perspective, I mean, it's phenomenal, right? Okay. It's, it's, uh, well, so it was a gamble. And then yeah, it was a gamble, gamble and it took so, off. Yeah. Like all, you know, now everyone does. Everyone does. Everyone has yeah. a single barrel. So. Um, Get to one, you know, one thing to just mention again here as we're tasting this one, you know, unless you have something from bottle 167 or barrel 167, you know, your experience with plans is going to be a little different. But as I mentioned, you know, since they were kind of the originators of marketing single barrels, I think that they do a really good job of keeping their consistency. But, you know, they're at the mercy of the bourbon gods, ultimately, like when they're going through the barrels at the warehouse H, you know, do they meet their criteria or not? Um, so, I mean, I, I think there's decent consistency, but everybody who's had one, I can tell you, I've had a bottle that blew my blew me away, or I've had a bottle that, you know, it was pretty good. It was good. Yeah. So I, I don't think I've ever had a really, like a bad bottle of Blanton's, but there are some that are, hey, this is solid, it's great, it's Blanton's, and every once in a while I'll get one that's just like, man, that was just transcendent. Uh, you guys ready? Or how are you guys doing on screen a little more time? Uh, I think uh, well, for, uh, yeah, the new uh, folks watching us, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a 10 point grading system here at the Bourbon Guild. Uh, so we give uh, two points for aroma, three points for complexity, uh, two points for drinkability, and three points for uniqueness. Now we also provide a bonus point for value. So value being based off of its availability and uh, price point. So uh, for again, a total of 10 points. Yeah, so it's all the 10 points, but you could technically have an 11. The perfect bourbon. <laughs> right, the perfect bourbon. Is that. So again, just talking about availability a little bit here, you know, MSRP is $69.99. I think I found that somewhere online. That was the official MSRP. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody comment. Um, but we actually completely lucked out. We've, I happened to find this at a big box wholesale store uh, for $49.99. That's amazing. Wow. We picked it up for $45.99. You should, should have purchased like the entire I know. store. Should have, would have, could have. Um, so, you know, that's a just a little tip to you all out there. If there's the big box stores out there that you need a membership to go to, you know, they buy stuff in bulk and you never know what they're going to have. Sometimes they'll have Blanton's and just stock up yeah. because that's, I mean, that's a 35% discount. And MSRP being at 70, you're getting, it's getting hard to find this at 70 bucks. I know Ben and I were at a store the other day. It was a 79 on the shelf. I've seen it in the liquor store for 99. I mean, it's just, it's yeah, getting it's marked up. Crazy. Because wow. everybody, everybody goes into the liquor store. Huh. They're trying to buy a nice bottle of bourbon for somebody. They Google, oh, the top ten list. This is all. Or they could just even look at the bottle and go, okay, oh, this is we got this. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. got this, right? So no, I mean, I'm not trying to slight Blanton's at all. I mean, it's a, it's a great product. It's a great looking product. It makes a great gift. Um, but just beware, you know, it's getting marked up a lot. Right. Um, so 
Maybe we shouldn't even put out this video because then then more people will know about it. Right. <laughs> well, let's get into that. Should we should we be that cautious? Where, where are we are with our scores? Everybody have the total? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ben, okay. What do you got? I got a six. Wow. <laughs> uh, I give it a nine. A nine. Yeah. What? Yeah. Wow. Really? Jules, uh, I give it a seven. All right, I gave it an eight, and I was actually waffling between an eight and an eight point five. So I'm, well, I'm okay. a little closer so, to Dylan here. But um, all right, well, let's start with aroma. Um, for me, and I'm I'm the king of not being able to smell anything. Um, I gave it a one. I was definitely I got a lot of vanilla personally. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So kind of like, almost a muted vanilla. Mm-hmm. Got a little bit of that alcohol smell. You know, it's not super strong alcohol, but. Um, I definitely got something, Jules. Yeah, I, I give it a one, so I'm the same as you. I got that vanilla hint, um, but I didn't get anything more. So, I mean, that's why I just put it in the middle of the road. Yeah, yeah I gave it a 1.5 because I'm getting the vanilla, I'm getting like half cooked stewed fruit, I'm getting <laughs> Love the stewed fruit. a stewed little fruit. bit of caramel, a little bit of really? caramel. I'm caramel. getting a little bit of sugar cane. It's that little sharp kind of flavor. On the aroma? I'm getting vanilla, caramel, honey. Real sweetness, a little bit of spice, a little bit of spice, mm-hmm. like a, a you know, spice. like a Madagascar vanilla, like a you know, a little bit of spice. <laughs> no wow. idea what that is. <laughs> he doesn't get laughed at for stewed fruit, but I'm the I'm the chuckle. Okay. We've, with the, we've been laughing wow. at stewed fruit. Okay, all right. <laughs> Wait, so, so you're talking just in the aroma, just aroma one. Wow. Really? 1. Yeah, one point five. There you go. Thank you. Oh, I got yeah, I got wrong. a little yeah, bit yeah. of. You know, <laughs> it's got some stuff going I guess on. My nose is clogged. Now that we now that we've covered that. Uh, I went to a complexity on the two. I don't think it's perfect. I think it's got some good stuff, but I don't think it's great. Um, one of the things that this particular, and I've had the, I have a bottle of Lance at home and I've, I've experienced the same thing is that there's something kind of like what you described with Eagle Rare, where like there's something missing behind it. Like there's some notes, there's some, there's some complexity, but it's like, it's almost missing like something. There's something like savory or yeah. uh, well, sweet what, what that I get, you know, like that I'm not getting behind what is the burn of the alcohol and those notes of the note. I agreed with you on the two for complexity, yeah. but I was about to give it a two point five because I feel like there's like it's almost like they're too muted. There's all these other flavors right. there yeah. they're kind of hiding it, behind. It, it's, the spicy it's the delicate. Meals. It's the delicate yeah. flavors like the um, what was that other one? The uh, not the diamond, but the uh, wild turkey. Oh, the master's key. Master's, key. master's key. You know, that one, you know, the first try, I was like, eh, what is this? The second try, like, okay. Yeah. Now I'm getting more of the, well, it's very delicate, yeah. subtle, subtle flavor. There's definitely subtle complexity. Yeah, and as I just said my last sip, I'm like, I'm almost more tempted to raise it to a 2.5, but it's right on the edge for me. I mean, it, it's, there's a lot there. It's just. See, um, I'm a, I, I've added water. I'm trying to warm it up with my hand. Oh, maybe I'm out. too. And honestly, Please. I'm getting seriously. I'm getting, take, some, I'm getting some complex notes, but they're muted. Yeah. But I'm not getting more yeah. as yeah. time goes on. And granted, we've been so, sitting here for five minutes with this. So. Ben, you gave it a two. Two. Out I of gave three it a two. Dylan, two. 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 So we all agree on complexity. Okay. Yeah. yeah there you go. Look <laughs> at that. Wow. That's one fact. Um, I cheers, and I didn't have anything left to drink. So. <laughs> yes. Um, so drinkability, I gave it. A, I gave it a two. I think it's. Wow. Very smooth. I think Perfect. it's got that nice kind of simple complexity that is very enjoyable to drink. So two for me. Uh, actually, I gave it a one point five, but um, very similar reason. <laughs> it's the same reason. <laughs> I didn't but say anything, right. but I can't give it a full hundred percent just because I feel why? Why? Why, uh, why did you take out the point five? Yeah, I don't know. I, I felt well. So I think a lot of it was tied to um, the mutedness. Like I feel like there's mm-hmm. something still missing from just the drinkability point of view. Like. That's fair. There's something missing, you know. I mean, I, and I couldn't tell if it was sorry, it's complexity or aroma, just because again, I wasn't really getting much from the aroma, but you know, just feel like so, just some room for you know improvement. So, so. I gave it a one point five. I'll tell you what's missing: age. I think mm. I think I would give this a two awesome. if if this you know we got a let's say a ten year or twelve year, right? Mm. Everybody says twelve year, twelve peak, thirteen peak is perfection, peak, right? Mm. If 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 they can come out with a twelve year. I mean, I yeah. you know they could they could have a winner um, on their hand. I think, or or the, actually the barrel strength. I, I am cask yeah. strength. I please, which you apparently know, I, you can get. You know, yeah. international, international I, market. You know, I don't I don't put water, um, and I, I like cask strength. So, you know, <laughs> hey. so Ben, I gave it a one 
uh, a one on drinkability. Wow. And because, really? well, I'm with you on, there's something muted here that, yeah. I, you know, it's good. We're not, it's good. It is. It's not bad. It's, I mean, there's definitely some subtlety and whatnot, but it's not complex enough for me to drink for, uh, hey, I really want to sit down and enjoy something. And I, I'll get to this in the bonus value, but it's almost too rare and special that like, I'm not going to pull it out to just drink it as a, as a kind of like, I'm going to yeah. have a quick drink. So it kind of falls in this realm of, yeah. do I drink it? Well, this is really special. I want to enjoy it. Or do I just want to have something? Well, it's kind of rare and expensive. I'll just save it. This would be honestly what I pull out when I have friends or family over that I want to share something nice with. And I want to experience it. Like, Hey, I got Bland's and everybody, and maybe they don't drink bourbon, but they know what it is. And yeah, you know, that's, that's their market again. So I don't want to kind of harp on them from the marketing because you know, we're evaluating the bourbon here, but that, that to me affects the drinkability because it's not bad, but it's not, there's something muted that I wouldn't sit down and enjoy. And I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't just sit down and throw it down my throat. And, and right, real quick to that end. I mean, and that's why I, uh, you know, I gave it a 1.5 as well. Cause it's one of those where I feel like I would actually end up talking about it more than drinking. Yes. You know, yeah. I mean, that's like, really interesting. The like, marketing. Well, yeah. Yeah. So that's why I couldn't give it a perfect yeah. score. You know? Okay. Exactly. Well, let's move on to uniqueness. Um, Cause this is, this, I gave it a 2.5, which wow, really for me, it was right at two. And then, <laughs> you know, we talked about how the bottle and the story and all that stuff can bump you up. And this, this is one of those cases where yeah. it, it's a 2.5 because it looks like this, because it has this topper, because it has this story. Because it has this wonderful presentation and this really cool, you know, thing going on here. So, well, two point five. I mean, the flavors are not. It, I think we've all experienced these kinds of flavors from a bourbon before. Mm -hmm. These are really good, um, but it's it's a lot of the is the presentation. It's talking about it that makes this a special bourbon. So, two point five for me. Yeah. Well, so for me, I gave it a two, and for me, most most of it from the drinking point of view is really just one point five of it, and then that point five for the marketing side for the story, all that. But I just really couldn't get it over. You know, um, to above that, you know. So, go on. I gave it a three. Wow! wow. Perfect. Yeah, the, the, this Perfect. is my yeah. This is my justification, right? I mean, uniqueness, you know, incorporated a lot of things, right, for us. So it's a good bourbon, right? Uh, yeah, it's not aged as much as I would like, but it has a great story. The bottle is unique. You can see this. You know, you know what this is for sure. Um, yeah. And with all of the hype, I think it. Doesn't exceed it, but it matches it, and so you really cannot find another bar like a, a bourbon like this. Sure. I mean, tell me, tell me some other. You know, go to any store. Like, where are you gonna find this? Well, I mean, this is why it's unique. That's yeah. that's the category. Yeah. I think it's a I, I gave it a one point five, but it's for reasons <laughs> you all kind of mentioned. Like we've heard these, like you said, we've heard we've had these notes in other bourbons before. They're muted. Um, the marketing is kind of what makes it unique, but also like this, you know, this story, this marketing and where it is today and how, how popular it is. That's my 1.5. From it's a drink, the marketing. Yeah. From okay, a drink okay, of okay, drink okay. Okay. It is you good. Know, all right. It's not, it's not a bad bourbon. It is right. good, yeah. but there's other stuff that I'm finding. And maybe this is, you know, just trying a bunch of weird stuff from our experiences here is like, there's stuff that we're trying that is either cheaper or more expensive that I would just reach for much for much quicker or further uh, faster than this. And um, I, that's kind of where my uniqueness, I'm like, it is unique. If I put it all the way over here, you have to reach further for it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you know, I think that's fair. Well, that's fair. That, that, well, that let me, let me, let me, let well, real quick, let me ask that's you this though. Would you pull it out more um, for personal or social? Okay, before we jump to value, because I think value is going to be a, a different conversation. It depends on yeah. who you're with. Um, <laughs> before we jump to value, guys, just to point out, like, we've all had this before. Yes. Yeah. Right? I, and I feel like I've had a bottle of Blandes before that I would have rated much higher than this. See, I agree. I agree with that for sure. sure. It's very, it very well could be that bottle number 155 right. happens to be from a barrel that just yeah. wasn't well, as good as ones that we've had in the past. No, but it could be something in the last couple of years because I've had this yes. in 2014 and I remember, you know, I've had one this I, year. I can't, it was I can't, it's completely subjective and anecdotal. I, it mm -hmm. tasted, yeah. Yeah, I remember it being better yeah. than what I have now totally because right. what I have at home and I have a bottle at home, I drank it last no. this past week. 
And it, I, it's exactly like this. It's muted. So you don't live here. <laughs> okay. Well, but, 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 but here, it's so, like the Willet Pot so, Reserve. So the here's, here's, yeah. the thing, here's the thing. I think what it is is those barrels happen to like be the magic barrels. They have a lot of the same flavors. It's just that those ones that are a little muted in this. A couple of them pop. Mm -hmm. And when you get That's that, true. like I remember having one yeah. that like the sweetness popped, yeah. like the molasses or something popped, yeah. and it was just amazing. Yep. Yeah. And I'm so like I think, that, you know, I that here. we have to keep that in mind. Again, we say that with all single barrels, but right. let's bring it up, especially with plants. I know we've all had it, right. and we've all had that special bottle of it, so keep that in mind. Okay, okay wrong. I was really excited to try this, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, there, there was something It's always a special. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. I haven't had it. Okay, guys, let's stay on track here. Last category, bonus for value. I gave it a 0.5. I, I was kind of on the fence, mainly because of the fact that it's Prices seems to be jacked up everywhere. Yeah, it seems to be really hard to get your hands on these days. But then again, we did find this at a whole, like a big box store, like yeah. a, a wholesale thing. So it is still out there. You can still find it at a good price. So therefore I stuck with my 0.5. Or uh, don't buy it if you've been watching this video so we can stock up on it. Yeah, <laughs> but, but for me, you're, we got this at $46. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, a, that's, steal. that's, that's a steal. Even steal. for this one, is where, you know, it may not be our favorite Blanton's barrel. Right. It's still worth it at that price. Yeah, I mean, I would have still bought this. So, yeah, I mean, same for me. Uh, exactly the same, 0.5 for uh, the bonus. So, well, you know, I got, I got to say, I will change my score. Oh, yeah? Uh, oh. I think I'm going to bring it down to 0. 0.5. Wow. I mean, I do listen to things that you say. Most of it I don't, but... Only when I, <laughs> except when it's your order. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's another, that's another thing. <laughs> so that brings me down total of 8.5. But I think, I think everything you said... Yeah, I think initially I put it 1 because... You know, for whatever reason, I thought, you know, I, I guess I was comparing it with slightly lower price, like $50. But the retail, if it's $79, <laughs> boy, you know, you're you're really kind of in well, that. Yeah. You have but, a lot but, of but choices. If $79, if you got one that popped, you'd be like, okay, it was, Dude, kind it of was worth it. it. I, I, but if we got this one at $79, I'd kind of be like, ah, uh, yeah. I kind of felt I would have been disappointed. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Ben, value. Zero. Wow. Whoa. Wow. What? I don't think this no is the no At $47. This is a this no, no, you, you have to hold on. He's, he's first, right. first of all, first of all, I do retail. First of all, I know. No, oh, 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 oh. Yep. let me. Yeah, thank that, you. That, that, that. That. And MSRP <laughs> is. So this little hesitation killed you. At MSRP, this is not a value for me. Okay, yeah. For well, that's fair. completely subjective. That's fair. That's also, that's fair. I did just buy a bottle, the one I have at home, the one I've mentioned. Fifty-five bucks from okay. a, a chain grocery store. Not bad, not wow. a bad price. I have been going uh, for the last two, three weeks to local liquor stores, mom and pops, like independently owned uh, around our, you know, our area and asking, looking and talking to some owners. Blanton's is on a reserve purchase list from distributors where you have to buy a hundred okay. or 10 or 20 cases of something else to get a box, to get two what? or three bottles of blends. Yes, this was confirmed. So for distributors. Yeah. But that's because it's popular. Popular. That's it's popular. So, right, I understand. Wow. And it's hard to get, it's rare. So, wow. but that said, every mom and pop liquor store, save one, one had a bottle for $79.99 and uh, none, there was none at the others. So if you can find it, by some miracle, a, a local Costco for forty five. Sorry, Schmosco, <laughs> whatever. Some big box store. Thank you. If you can warehouse find it store. by some the warehouse store, I thought we called them big box stores. No, that's like Target or Target. Target. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can find it by some miracle, great. I think that's a lightning, you know, lightning strikes situation. Yeah. Um, I don't think you're going to find it on mass for I don't know. even 50. In, in, in the past three months, I found it twice at a warehouse store. Maybe I was just lucky, but fair enough. Anyway, let's circle back, back here. I, I don't think I it's like Ben's. I, have, this I don't think it's about. Yeah, it's, 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 he gets a zero for, for the. Let's anger. total up our score here, guys. Uh, ben, what was your total? Six. Six point oh, Dylan. Eight point five. Jules. Seven point oh. Oh, seven. Add plus, plus one. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> just add one to it's too old. Oh, dude, you guys just totally screwed me up here. <laughs> uh, you know, look, when we're dealing with technology from the 70s. Hey, it's all right, going. Let's start again. Okay, let's do it. So look, look, it's a seven. Seven for Ben. Yeah. 8.5 for Dylan. 8.5. Seven for me, Jules. Seven. And I gave it an eight. eight. Dutch, give it an eight. Learn how to Our add. grand total, folks, is 
7.63. That's about right for me. That's all right. I think that's pretty good. I'm okay with that. Well, I gotta say, kind I've of had models that I would say should be a nine. Knock it off. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah. But this model, I think that's, one. I can see it. So, yeah. all right guys, um, just a quick summation here on blends. Keep in mind, it's, it's single barrel bourbon. Right. So, hit or miss. Hit or miss. This one, maybe a little below the mark for us. Yeah. 7.63 according to the Bourbon Guild. Is it worth the hype? I think we agree when you get the right barrel. The right bottle, totally worth it. Yeah. To get it at the right price, totally worth it. But just be aware. Is that lucky strike? Yeah, if you walk into, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wouldn't pay a Give a chance. Right. Yeah. This if guy you, would never. Yeah, you wouldn't pay. I mean, like, I think if you find it at MSRP or below, consider it. If you find it at a good price below that, you should probably get it. Yeah. Um, all right, Jules takes out. All right, so I'll do it for the Bourbon Guild. Um, be sure to uh, comment below. Let us know what you guys think. You know, how was your. Uh, uh, Blanton's um, uh, experience. experience, yeah, and uh, <laughs> uh, or hit that like, uh, or yeah, give us a thumbs up if you like what you guys saw, and uh, be sure to subscribe for more uh, Bourbon Guild videos. All right, Bourbon Guild out. Tip your bartenders. Instead of the six, I think my score was a six. Oh my gosh, dude! Gosh, can you not do math? <laughs> No, it is a six. It is. I'm Two, at one, it. or one point five, one point five. <laughs> <laughs>